Hustle, everybody. Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, this clip, this clip is another clip from my interview with Orrin Major, rapper who's been killing the game in his own way and really developing in the indie scene. He's definitely an artist to watch, and this clip is how he actually uh, actually got a manager. Yeah, straightforward. It's how he got his manager, but how the, the situation even struck up in the first place. Check it out. It's the mat work. And what made you decide and recognize Geranicus is like, all right, it's a manager, like for real, for real, we can actually rock together. Because I know you were looking for one, but I know also know, you know, you smart and, and think enough through where you're not like, all right, just because he said he wanted a link or like we, we can do that. Like, how'd you fill him out first to the side? Oh, no, like, this dude, he delivering. All right, so check this out. I was not looking for a manager at all. Like, I wasn't, it wasn't even on my mind at all. Okay. Um, and he was not a manager. <laughs> like, <laughs> none of that. I, he just had the playlist. That was it. And he loved music, and he wanted to get involved. But, when again, when I say, like, natural vibes and just energy and passion, like, when we met, and he, he realized he liked my music, and realized like that I had potential. He started setting things up that I didn't even ask for. I think he set up a radio interview for me like within a week of us meeting on Facebook. He was like, mm -hmm. yo, I got this radio interview set up with me. And then there was this huge Facebook page called Born Famous. He got one of my, he got my um, first single video, music video placed on that uh, Facebook page. And so I was like ecstatic, like, yo, what? He was like, yeah, they want to know how I know you. Like, what should I say? And I was like, bro, I've been telling you, like, since the radio interview, you might as well tell people you're my manager. You know what I mean? Because you're already doing the work. So after having that conversation, he's like, all right, I'm going to do it. Just him, like, the person he is, he started reading, like, about management, reading about music, the industry. And yeah. he's a quick learner. He put his mind to it. He got the, the, um, the LLC for the management company. And now we are where we are, like, we just learn, like as we go. We don't, we don't, we don't know the industry. Like, <laughs> it's the mat work. All right, now there's a couple things about this video, but there's one big thing that I really, really believe that you should take away from this video. So first and foremost, I'm gonna say that just the fact that. Or Orin moves organically, right? And was able to sense some kind of energy, but he wasn't looking for it. That allowed him to really take the situation and analyze from a standpoint where you're not being desperate. So I think that's a benefit. For, if anybody can find something they will need while they're not in the place of need, it'll be beneficial. But when you think about the way their relationship even struck up in the first place, the fact that Geranicus was running playlists, Orin reached out to him, got on the playlist, and Geranicus was actually living you know, on a different side of the country, West Coast versus East Coast, but he liked the music and he started to go to work. That just showed an opportunity that like when you find the right people, you have to figure out how to keep them in the fold. Like maybe everybody's not meant to be your manager right off the bat. You know, for them, it worked out because now, you know, Orrin is making $20,000 off of streaming. Um, he's, he's doing other things, touring shows. I've seen one of the shows, dope. But the other person that you might encounter, right? They might not be your manager, but if there's somebody who's willing to put in that work and learn right, right off the bat without you having to tell them to, right? They're self-motivated, then you have to figure out how do I keep this person around? They might not be my manager, but how can we grow together? And there's so many different things that can come into play like that, but have those conversations. I encourage you to have those conversations because people spend so much time trying to look for this main thing that they're looking for. I need a manager right now or I need a, a PR person right now. But sometimes these other people come into the fold that are going to be quality. They might not fulfill that exact role, but it's so hard to find like not only good people, good people that are good for you and vibe with you that you you, you need to maintain some sort of relationship. So then further on in your career, they might be able to fill that other role that, that pops up or they might be able to develop with you. They might end up becoming a day-to-day -day manager when you end up getting a, a, you know, a, a more seasoned manager, depending on what level you, meet, you need. They might become uh, some sort of assistant. Whatever that might look like, keep all that stuff open, keep it in mind. But with that being said, if you wanna check out this entire interview, you can check it out at brandmannetwork.com. And other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, might as well share it. And if you're not, subscribe. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.